Bad faith causes of action vary from state to state. States recognize bad faith causes of action in varying degrees, very, uh, different types of bad faith. The conduct that uh, is required to, uh, to constitute bad faith, the damage is recoverable uh, for bad faith conduct. Uh, which can, can range from economic damages to tort damages to punitive damages. So it, it's important to, to know what to first evaluate what state's law applies. As a firm, we've successfully uh, pursued bad faith claims in a number of jurisdictions uh, on behalf of a number of clients. For example, one state uh, would be Arizona, um, which is a state's law that uh, I'm familiar with because of a, a, a large client that we have headquartered there. Arizona law is particularly strong on insurer bad faith because it recognizes independent causes of action uh, in the three stages of what I like to think of the insurer policyholder relationship. Underwriting, claims handling and investigation, and claim evaluation. Uh, with respect to underwriting, it recognizes bad faith uh, causes of action for any misrepresentations or omissions that the insurer may make in the underwriting process um, that may give the, the policyholder um, a, a false sense uh, of what, what coverage they're, they're purchasing or what their insurance policy may cover. Second is when an insurer conducts a bad faith claim investigation, uh, which is independent, an independent cause of action from whether or not the insurer wrongfully denies coverage or breaches the contract. Examples would include um, uh, a dilatory claim uh, evaluation, um, an inadequate claim evaluation, not and asking the, the, the questions it should be asking or investigating the facts that it should be investigating, or three, even an overburdensome claim investigation where it, the insurer inundates the policyholder with unnecessary and irrelevant uh, questions, document requests, um, and, and inquiries. And then third is the more traditional, obvious, uh, bad faith denial of coverage, where the insurer does not have a reasonable basis to deny coverage, but denies coverage anyway.